It's been a long, noisy morning. I didn't vlog this morning, morning, but we've been up since 7 o'clock in the morning. I haven't been up since 7. He's been up since 5.30. The stem sounds are loud. I'm tired. It's nice of you to come cuddle with Daddy. It's very nice of you. Uh, I... Can you say I love you? Just go ahead. One feeding session is down. Now we're going to try to rest for a couple hours. Mattresses got delivered. I thought they were only delivering one mattress. But they delivered two. Two boxers, two mattresses, two frame sets. I don't know if I'll set the frames up because they're just going to destroy the frames. And they'll, you know, the poles, they just pop on and off. So I'll probably just put the uh, box springs on the floor to match the floor. And we'll see how they do with them. I got the protective things, but again, it's the same ones that Birdie peels apart and eats. So it sucks, man. But at least we can get rid of that other match there. That other match there. Hi. All right. We'll be back. Bye bye. There you go. These are the mattresses and the box springs that came from uh, Child Protective Service coming here, helping us out. Appreciate it. I don't think we're going to set them up today. I might wait until Monday night, the night, because they go back to school Tuesday. So we may wait. I don't know. Because I got to put the protective sheeting on. I got to figure out what we're going to do here. One at a time or both at the same time. I don't know. I'm trying to make a shorter vlog today. I didn't vlog basically nothing today for once. So let's put this in here. So to make sure this is important. We always do this every day. This is a very important. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. You did it. When we said we start cleaning up, we can eat. If you want to eat again, I don't care. I mean, four times in a day is usually what to do. Let's get you out of that outfit, even though it wasn't wet. Let's get you out of it. Come on. It's probably wet now. It's got to be. Bro D, please come to me. Come on, let's go. Let's get you changed here. All right, Brody's got his nice little sleeper keeper here. We played a racetrack last night. It was the same color. It's just turquoise blue and white. Reminds me of it. There you go, buddy. You're freshy all cleaned up. How about we go sweep up the bedroom upstairs and let's try to put a mattress upstairs. What do you think? Huh? Why is all this down here in the sink? There's peanut butter cracker and pretzels and stuff. And then you want to eat more? Mom came home. She fed them. She went out to dinner with her mom. But she fed them again. This is the fourth time you're eating now. But I see food in the sink that's wasted. Why is it in the sink? I don't understand. Why? And this is now, Mom. We can't leave anything metal in the, in the sink because she tries to get out of the house. The spoon, the fork will work just the same way. Please don't leave them in there anymore. You want help? You got it? I want to go sweep up your room and, and set up a mattress. It's a mess in here. What do you at? How are you so high? Ugh. That's why you're going to the doctor next week. Mom doesn't give you enough insulin. She doesn't get it. I like to add more numbers to it. It's okay. We'll give you more insulin. Are you going to eat or are you just going to play with them? There you go. Recycle. This thing is still leaking. It can only do so much and it just keeps keeps on coming. This towels are probably soaking wet. It's definitely the pipe. Somewhere it's dripping very slowly. Well, I just touched this. So see the drips? It's all this. They have to come out here and do that. That's not us. This is that. Should I be dripping here? I could tighten it even more, but that's a lot of drip, man. Shit. Oh, what the fuck? Always something, though. Always something, man. Pancakes again. I think this is nine pancakes for you today. You had three this morning with me. And you had more with your mom, because I know there's more missing. There you go. Which arm do you want? This arm. This arm? Okay. I'm gonna give you a lot here because you're high already. 14. We didn't do vitamins yet today either. Where do you kind of ruin that with me because now you don't want to take any of them. 
I have to find a new multiple and a vitamin C that'll take. You can see he looks sick from not taking his vitamins. His face, he looks, he looks sick. See the color in your face? Look at your eyes, everything. You look sick, brother. Compared to when you, when you take your vitamins every day, now you look sick because you're not taking them. Always the birthday. Always the birthday video. Every day. Take your vitamins, kids. The vitamin routine is not going so smoothly because we ran out of the ones and he won't eat them anymore. It sucks. It's, it's not good, man. Multiple vitamins are very important. I ran out of them, but like, if you won't even take your C's, man. Brody, I need you to come over here, Brody. Forgot to give you these this morning. I didn't really want to. So this is why, because he's not eating them. Here, I won't eat the ones, the probiotics. Here. Come on, Brody. Brody, come. No, you need to come with me. You need to come with me. Let's go. I'm to the counter. Let's go. Please come with me. 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 Come on. Thank you. Why is the freaking floor so goddamn sticky? You know, man, what the hell did you guys get into? Gum it's fruit snacks or gummies or something. Here, have a seat. Take some of these. I want you to eat them all. What happened to Brody taking his vitamins? Why all of a sudden are we back to this nonsense of not taking our vitamins? There he goes. Here, here's the other one. He'll take the probiotics. Maybe if I do this with him. No, stop. Let me see if he'll eat them back. Here. You need to eat these. Please eat them. Please. Come on. This is vitamin C. Eat. Chew. Come on. I know. You don't like, but you need to be healthy, son. You're, you're not healthy today. I can see that your eyes, everything, you look rough. One more water here. It's another one right here. There. Thank you for taking these. Appreciate it. Come on, we got two more. The fiber I'm not worried about because you get enough fiber. First snack, Brody. Here, you can have fruit snacks after this too. Mm -mm -mm. There's a fish, you have to eat it. Fish oil one. Come on. Come on, mm -hmm. open. There we go. Come on, one more. This is yes. I need you to do this for me every day, but not with me feeding you like you're a little two-year-old, okay? You're a big boy. Here, last one. Yes. Oh, he really doesn't like the fiber ones. Fine, whatever you eat them. They're not that important. There you go, brother. Two for you. Back I gave you enough insulin you can have a pack too. In fact, you're gonna need them probably. That's all you're eating. Enjoy. Fruit snack boys. Yeah, see he'll shove those down, but he won't eat the one on me. So we're gonna try to do laundry. I'm gonna put a bucket here to see how much it's actually dripping here. I think it just needs to be tightened up, but I don't know 100%. Looks like it's corroded rusting. We'll do this for now though. This way we have a better idea of how much it's leaking for now. All right, it's rocking time. He said batteries, though. I think the other one's dead. Good job, buddy. I just wish I knew why the floor was so sticky. You did got something on the floor today. I wear socks, dirt ball too, man. You're gonna get sick. Why did you just do that? Why did you just slam them on the ground? Why? Because I moved this over here. I'm trying to sweep up and clean up here so I have an area to work with the mattresses over here. Come on, Beck. Man, come on, dude. I'm coming, I'm coming. All right, we're just making sure we swept up in here a little bit. We're gonna lock everything and go upstairs and sweep up the kids' bedroom too. See if we can do a mattress up there tonight. We'll try, at least one of them maybe. Usually we'll just put it on a corner somewhere, I don't know. All right, let's go. Come on, upstairs, let's go. Come on. Come on, march, man. Uh, uh. Let's sweep up, get this old mattress out of here. And just see what we can do. I don't know. Maybe that'll go back down in the living room where it was before the crash. Probably we could do wrestling again. I don't know. But I feel like he's going to eat the protective coating that goes on it. When he takes it off, they do. They just rip, they layer it and lay on layer it, and they just start ripping it apart, and he eats the plastic. Ooh, it's the video games that Dad plays, but a modded version. People made it into a kid's game. It's so cool. So neat. Wee! Go to the wee! Frank, I'm not taking it away from you. All I'm doing is cleaning up. I had to get that out from under him, and he got pissed. I'm cleaning up your room, okay? Okay, you're fine, okay? All right, go ahead. Now you can play with the ones I put in there. I still gotta clean there. Go ahead, go. He's trying to throw them all over already. I'm like, I just swept them up. Can you let me just clean the room up first? 
You notice as soon as I move something to Beckham's, I move something to his, it's like they both just have meltdowns immediately. Jesus, man. Now you got this thing. All right, he's occupied now. That's going to go in the trash. We're out back in the yard for now. I'm going to bring one of the matches up. If not, both of them. We'll see what we get to today. Good job, buddy. You do your thing here, okay? All right, we're going to do one tonight, at least, like I said. We're going to set the box spring up, too. Let's hope for the best, guys, because I don't know. My kids are very destructive with the box springs. They rip them apart, too. I'm not even going to open that, the bed frame. That won't work, but we can try eventually, but I'm not doing that tonight. Right on the floor, box spring matches. Oh, your new bed. You both got new beds. Yeah. Come here, look. We're going to put the mattress protector on. Come here. First, let's do these. One at a time here. We're going to put this over top. Here, come here, come here. Now, come here. Your dirty feet and your butt. Come here, baby boy. Let's put this on first, okay? It doesn't say what's front or back. I'm assuming it's the same, but I like this. This has been... Yeah, there we go. I like that it goes all the way around, and it's not like a plastic. It's also for, like, bed bugs and other stuff. So, like, it, he might not be able to wreck it. It's kind of like a sheet material, but, like, you know, it's nice. Good. It might work. We have bedding, but let's just make sure we have as much as possible. We're going to run that as well. All right, and there's the box spring. Make sure the kid don't do that and eat that. And we got a sheet on it. The only thing I worry about, these are so thin. The kids start poking their whole hands through it, and they start wrecking it over time. Because they like to flip their mattresses over. What are you doing? This is no. Stop hack. No. Stop. Do get, get away from the railing now. Stop. It is not funny to me. Get away. God, man. Kid, man. It's like the, you mean when you fall down the stairs and the kid's still asking for food. He's like, remote. You see me carrying all this stuff up? The remote can wait. How about you help me? Help. We're not. Okay. There you go. What do you think, Brody? Yeah. Brody got a bed, man. What do you think, Brody? There's your bed. We're going to get Beckham a bed, too. Yeah, Beckham, the remote. How about we just leave what Brody's watching? I don't want you to take the remote. This is fine. Leave this on. <coughs> I think the crash pad's going to go downstairs. I'll just throw it in there. Beckham, we are currently setting up a bedroom. Oh! Jesus, I don't want that all over here. No, you have a remote downstairs. We're currently trying to get the beds together. We don't need to put on Brody and Beckham all day and night. Come on, let's go downstairs. We got another mattress to put together. And like I said, worst case of the box springs don't work out. They don't really need them. They're very light, the kids. Look how this is. A, these are really nice mattresses. I'm kind of jealous. I like box spring ones. Oh my god. The obsession. What do we say? No, please. Okay, you because you said please, sure. It's already on YouTube. All right, let's go put the other one together. We'll bring it up here too. What I guess I can do is I can leave that match downstairs for him. I don't know. If I get a protective cover for that, this thing's fine. It doesn't smell, but I mean, you know, it's had better days. This sheet was for their bigger one. Remember the mattresses were different sizes because of the bunk beds, but one was bigger on the bottom, but this'll do for now, but we're gonna probably get some new sheets too. It's actually not too bad, fitting pretty good. I mean, it's looser, but that's what the mattress is way thicker than your other ones. I mean, that's like, what, eight inches? All right, opening up box spring number two, and we're putting them both upstairs. We'll see how it works out. I just hate when they throw them in the hallway. These are a little heavier, so they might have a hard time doing that, which is good. The whole purpose of sweeping up, son, so this wasn't all under your mattresses and stuff. Already trying to take it off, like, unbelievable. Unbelievable. You kids, just you never cease to amaze me every day. Thanks for doing this as I'm trying to get your bed set up. Thank you. I know you don't understand, but you should kind of have a little... You're laughing, too. You think everything's good downstairs? Get out of here. Please. That blanket's dirty. Little stuff stuck to your head. Jesus Christ, why did you have to do this? You know, kid? You couldn't wait till I set everything up? That makes me angry that that's already happening. Should have remembered that one. He's going to do that. Hey, if you're tired, you're going to go upstairs, you're going to sleep in your new bed, okay? Yeah, you sleep in your brand new bed, okay? You don't need to sleep on the couch every single night. Come on, let's go upstairs. Come on. Come on. Let's go sleep in our new bed tonight. Come on. If you're falling asleep already, let's get back to a routine of you sleeping upstairs. One day you'll have your own little room. Right now you share, okay? Let's try to get back to that habit. All right, you got to move out of the way. Where are you here? Hold on. I know the remote is the most important part here for y'all. Can you wait a second here? 
Can you wait a second? Which bed do you want? Yeah, nice beds, huh? Now you got a nice long bed area over here. They're very comfortable. I know, potty video, I'm working on it. All right, will it flush, weird stuff. You got your beds, okay? I'm gonna take this downstairs, okay? This needs to go downstairs. There you go, you got your pillow, your blanket. You're not gonna need a blanket up here, it's warmer up here. I turned the heat on, it's like 71 up in here now. And Brody's got this, so I'm gonna keep this up here though, okay? But we're gonna try, you need to start learning to sleep upstairs, okay? Like I said, one day I'm gonna probably just, if mom's cool, we'll, we'll just cut right here, dude. They don't, we can't use this, I'm gonna kids destroy it. And this could be one little cubby area. It'll connect from here. And that can be where he sleeps. Back home, he can have his own little area. I can even mount a TV in there or something. It'd be dope. But for now, this is how you guys gotta learn to sleep in the same room again, okay? I never had a problem since he got so comfortable sleeping on the couch. And it's still fine if he does, but I prefer him to try to do this. Okay. All right, we still got plenty of time. It's only eight o'clock. Whenever you want to go to bed, it's up to you guys, okay? There's no school. Oh, I'm glad I didn't break the window. It's very, it's all foam, but. You jumping? You can jump. Monkey's jumping on the bed. Woohoo! You got a bed and a trampoline to jump on out. Oh boy, lots of jumping. I love it. Oh, Brody's like, oh, I want to do that. Yeah. Go ahead, Brody, show us your jumps. It's the same height as a trampoline, too. I like this setup. It looks good. Because we can't get rid of it. They love the trampoline. That's got to stay in here. This, I don't know about this thing. He hasn't really been using as much. He was in a hallway with it. I don't know. All right, you stay in here now. I'm cleaning up, okay? Enjoy your show, okay? Daddy's doing some cleaning here still. Picking up things. Put all this in here for now. It's not recycling. It's trash. I don't think you can recycle that. Yeah, look, you got your crash bed bag. You can jump. Remember the big jumps off the couch? Show me your jumps. Guys, show me your jump. Come on. Go back to you doing your jumps. Show me your jump. Show me your jump. Come on. Show me the jump. Where's the jump? Here, where's the baby? Here, jump on this guy. Jump on the blue guy. Get him. Elbow drop him. Leg drop. Get him, big him. Boom. Knee double D stub. Good job, buddy. It's fun, huh? I forgot how much fun that is. We'll start power bombing on here again. I don't have that sticky thing anymore. I have just magnets on. I'll have to get like a little, a little magnet when I have somewhere. Not today, though. I'm not doing that now. Hey, three, just eight. What are these, Beckham batteries? I usually don't open mom's bag. She had to order batteries. I'm gonna use them right now. From Amazon. We got to put them in the smoke detectors here. That's very important. Oh, and I got to replace those. These ones won't work for that one right here. I'll go get the rechargeable ones. Hold on, those aren't it. Hold on, these aren't it. Hold on, not them. Come here. We need these ones. Here, take these inside. Okay, you're not listening. Okay. Get in the house. It's freezing out here. Let's go. In the house. Beckham, no. Beckham, Beckham. Beckham, in the house. Beckham. Beckham, in the house. It's ice. The tablet's broken. You broke it. Remember, you stomped on it. Take this. Get that. We gotta replace the batteries now. So much for a short video today. Now we're doing a long. <laughs> Sorry, I'm glad I didn't vlog all day because that would have been boring. The same food routine. At least we got, you can see the mattresses and something different, you know? We only need two of these. Can you open one more? Here, one more. We need two. Because the one that goes in your room, they broke theirs, so we had to get an, an external one I had somewhere. Takes the regular batteries and they're rechargeable. <laughs> you get a nice laugh out of that, huh? I mean, I, I don't know if I should hold on to it. Like, I don't, I would like to just get a protector and put it out here for him. I mean, it's so small, but I don't know if mom wants that down here. We just we gotta get used to sleeping upstairs again, man. All right, we'll move that later. I'm pretty sure mom's coming back, but I mean, I, don't, I gotta stay in here with that because I don't trust them at all. All right, well, we got the bed made. We're gonna share yesterday's video here. <clears throat> He's doing his thing. Happy boy, the bed's just in place. Come on in, man. Our routine's about to start. It's 8 o'clock, your brother's falling asleep down there. I like it. High five, my man. Oh, he's like, candy. I want candy, daddy. I want candy. All right, yesterday's video was up. What's the visual? What's the video? Oh, the boys. And your dorky dad. We're waiting to get in a race here. Oh, look. Oh, we're going to start a race now. We're waiting to get into the race, right? He's waiting because he don't get his candy until I start the race. So well, I don't know what's going on. What happened? Where's it going? Yeah, there's the end of the race. All right, good. We're going to get in this race. Let's go. Hello. 
You want some? Here. It's a Saturday night candy party. <clears throat> we watching ICW No Bud 65 over here. It's live over there. I think they're in Boston. We're about to get into some more racing. We did one or two. We're having a hard time finding the session. There's not as many people up tonight. Here we go, though. We're going to do it. We're doing it. We got like 10 people in here. We'll do it. We arrived a little late. Go, Brody, go. Go, Brody, go. Where's the dancers at, man? Every time I turn the camera on, you stop dancing. Where's he at? Come on, show me your dances. We're going to watch wrestling. We're mirroring it from the computer to there. It's just easier to do. We weren't getting any luck with the race cars. Nobody's really on it. You can watch wrestling with me. Mr. Beckham, no, I don't know, because he mimics everything. Brody, Brody likes to chill and watch this stuff. You can't have any more candy. Candy's done, bro. Okay? That's it. No, no, no more candy. You want, well, you can have these, actually, here. You want these? Yeah? You want any melatonin? We can do that. All right, let's do that, then. Let's get you to go. You want to go night-night? It's like almost 10. Three of these, 7.5. That way you can go sleep in your nice new bed there, get some rest, okay? My dude, Hoodfoot. I love that dude. All right, he's falling asleep on me over here. Let's try to get him to his room here in his nice new bed. Come on, buddy. Come on, baby boy, before you fall asleep. Come on, let's get you to your nice new bed. Come on. I know your brother, of course, he went back downstairs and didn't stay up here. Such a butthead. No, 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 we're not lifting that up. Where's your pillow at? Can you have the pillow with me? Where's your pillow? No, 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 we don't. No, you leave the mattress stuff on. No, do not take anything off. Hold on, let me get your pillow. Oh, there's the pillow. Beckham. Beckham. Come on, we're going to go sleep in our bed tonight, Beckham. Try to. I know he's going to come back right back down here. Come on, Beckham. Bed upstairs. Hey, come on. Come on, we're going upstairs to our bed. Come on, here, come on. Come on, bedtime. To a bed this time, not on the couch. Come on, here. Take this with you. Upstairs to your bed. No, 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 bed, 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 upstairs. Come on, new beds. Upstairs, come on. No, this is not where we're sleeping tonight. No, up, let's go, upstairs, bed. Bedroom, please. Here, carry your blanket up, here. Here, I'll be right up the stairs with you. I'm gonna get another plush for your brother here. So you have a pillow, he has pillows. There you go. There's the other pillows in the washer. Very smelly. That one's clean. Let's try to make this our routine now. We go upstairs to bed. At least when school starts again. Here. Here's your plush. Here's a pillow back. Lift your head. Lift up, lift, 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 lift your head. Sit up. There you go. Lay in your pillow for once. There you go. Sweet dreams, Brody. Over here. Come on. This is your bed. Okay? Come on. It's, it's way more comfortable, I promise you, than sleeping on that damn crash pad. That thing is no good. Oh, I like that this one will do that too. The curtains will be wedged behind it. I'm going to turn the TV down. You both sleep up here tonight, okay? In fact, Beckham, I'm going to give you some gummies too. There you go. Beg, you want some gummies? Yeah, so that way you don't leave the room, because you're going to leave the room. I know you. Give him three as well. Here. Here's your gummies, Beck. Beck, sit up. Sit up, Beckham. Beckham, sit up here. Sit up and eat them, though. Don't, no, no. Sit up. Sit up and eat them. I don't need you choking. Go ahead, now eat them. This way you get a really good night's sleep. Okay? All right, everybody good? We're going to sleep in here tonight, okay? Yeah, Brody, that looks very uncomfortable. How about you lay down on the bed, my man, instead of laying against the wall? He will. All right, I love you, boys. Okay? Let's turn this down a little bit, though. Can leave it on, but we're going to turn it down. Oh, it's the Hulk. Seven's reasonable. Well, look at the Hulk. Oh! So crazy. It's literally the game that we played, but a modded version. All right, I love you. Sweet dreams. I think mommy's gonna get you up in the morning today. Dad, you can get a break. I love you. I will see you in the afternoon, okay? Sweet dreams. I hope you like your new beds. Good job, get some sleep. Oh, God, the smoke is so bad outside right now. Ugh, I don't, 
Oh my god, it's like a forest fire, like five minutes from us. Of all times, I usually don't have that fan. I can't believe I turned that on. Oh, it's the whole inside of this garage smells like the house is on fire. Like, you'll never we have right down the road from us, literally, forest fire. They got it under control, but damn. <coughs> oh my god, I might not even be able to come out here tonight. <coughs> Take your vitamins, Dad. Make sure you eat with it, too. That was a good main event. Atticus Kogar and uh, Homicide. No one's bought 65 on IWT as a banger. Charge the kids' batteries. Again, good system we got going here. With Jose Diaz Bollard. Good evening. We began with a wildfire erupting overnight. Residents forced to flee their homes. Firefighters now battling to contain it. But this isn't happening out west. It's happening on the east coast in Reading, Pennsylvania. This is the scene there today with helicopters dumping water from above in a race to stop the fire from spreading. This was the scene in the heart of Brooklyn overnight. Yes, Brooklyn, part of a popular park on fire as a brush fire spread. Right now, there are fires raging in New Jersey and in Connecticut. All of it traced back to this right here, a brutal drought that's on pace to become one of the worst ever. We begin tonight with George Solis on the fire lines in Reading, Pennsylvania. Let's see, did the kid come down here? No, he did not. Oh, hey, baby. What's going on, baby? Baby, you good? You wide awake? I'm good. Beckham's actually sleeping in his bedroom. Baby, you sleep there. Okay. This is a power bomb, baby. This is no. It's working. I'm glad he's upstairs for once. Ooh, I think the laundry is done. Exciting, exciting stuff, everybody, right? Exciting laundry, look. See, that's how low it's dripping. That's all it's gotten in really, like, what, three hours? So it's so low. I think I'm gonna be able to tighten this and fix this on my own. I'm gonna figure it out. We got tools over here. Anyway, let's pull this in the dryer. Exciting life for laundry kids, yay. it out shut the door walk away there you go kids exciting life of laundry and again this is a uh, i will fix that I'm, I'm gonna be able to do that on my own but she should still call them it's obviously it's uh rusted up it's leaking I shouldn't be doing that the water company needs to handle that on their own but i will try to yeah, the water company, the sewer company is very important, especially when you gotta take a doo doo. We don't wanna go back to those times when people threw buckets of uh, feces into the streets, okay? So you gotta make sure that's all in order here. Yeah. All right, doo doos. Make sure you poop every day, kids. That's very important. But dad, dad does poopy every day. Once, sometimes twice. Brody, on the other hand, does not. And again, I, I cannot say how important it is as just a human being in general, as a man. Uh, seen the history of people with colon cancer you need to poop every day make sure you go to the bathroom make sure you find the things that cleanse your colon and all that stuff do all the things do your research we have this thing in our pants i'm not talking about your wee wee i'm talking about the computer in your pocket you can search and learn us so much learn about your health okay it's important just say all right i'm gonna turn this off before i go <laughs> duties people ever. That's in this vlog. Broken glasses, they're working here. Uh, and the reason why I think rather than again, I'm trying to get the business together here, the hustle. Let's keep this going. We'll eventually get glasses. I don't care. So let's go with it. And again, I had to shut this, man. The smoke is for real, though, dude. It's like literally forest fire, like four miles away from here. And I know I'm smoking a cigar, but then that forest fire stinks. Stanky. Right? The alien's like, man, get me out of here. Look at this neck. He's like, man, I'm still looking for my planet, bro. <laughs> Here's my dude, man. Take me to your leader. Please. But, uh, all right. All right, anyway. It's like 12.30 at night here. 
Uh, again, as I'm like reviewing videos, my discussions leading right here as I'm uh, like fully blown out AMA uh, having the drink. And the scar, they are delicious. Not the best advice, but again, I'm gonna repeat this every day. Um, do not inhale the vape, vape stuff. Unless you have it uh, actually like, uh, I don't know. I don't know, somebody's gonna inform like the, the proper way to invade you. They, they, I'm telling you, man, some of this shit is really gonna kill you. Uh, these are the old school methods, man. I quit cigarettes a year ago. It was the worst thing ever that I ever did to myself in my life. I started smoking when my dad died. And I just, I don't know what was going on with me with that, man. It was like I was punishing myself, man. Uh, but just get away from all of it, the cigars, uh, the vapes, get away from it all, man. Uh, I cannot simply get away from the cigars, but I do not inhale them. Nothing goes into my lungs, and you hear me ramble all the time. Uh, again, not the best advice, but it's honesty. It's truth. Uh, I feel great. Um, but you, know, you always risk mouth cancer, uh, throat cancer, all that stuff. My advice is to always make sure you have all your, your uh, supplements, your vitamins, antioxidants to make sure your shit is together. Brush your teeth, use mouthwash. I don't know. But uh, from my experience of friends of mine uh, that quit smoking and they still do the vape, they're having issues, man. They're going through so many shit. They're like popcorn lung, dude. Like their lung is inflating inside themselves. Like, okay, that's not good. And then when you see the cigars, not saying it's a proper way to respond. This, this is my life and this is how I choose it, man. You see me take a buttload of vitamins. You think I enjoy swallowing, swallowing those goddamn vitamins? I mean, I literally get choked. I'm like, oh, I was like, like gagging my, like, man, just 60 goddamn pills a day. Uh, but I've never felt better. Um, uh, the only... Uh, medical pill I was supposed to be taking was a beta blocker and I found out through my research that going online is like uh, potassium vitamin C and all these other stuff like on there I don't need the beta blocker and I was at one point feeling short of breath but now I'm not anymore I mean I can go back to, to jogging and running every day man but I'm not saying to ever uh, stop taking your medicine uh, through your health issues to, to stop doing that but like you got to really think for yourself man but anyway okay so i'm out here uh, uh, taking it easy having a drink from the urn that's one day i'll probably be uh, cremated and thrown in that and thrown into the ocean And, and puffing on the probably the greatest cigars I've ever tasted from the Smokers Outlet uh, website, and they used to be about twenty five dollars for thirty of them. Now they're like thirty five or thirty six dollars for or twenty of them or whatever it is. The price went up, man. I gave, I gave away a secret, and now everybody's like jumping on it. And these are basic Cuban cigars. They are so good, like. Like, I like that, like, bitter beer tastes like a, um, it's basically like a, a, having a drink, uh, you know, the, uh, the beers that we drink, the, the, the delicious beers, uh, um, I don't know, I'm rambling on right now, but anyway. I'm deep into the web tonight and all that bullshit and just everything. Everybody's playing the name game, like blaming how Trump became president and all that shit. And just, and just seeing people cry and get upset about it, man. And like I said in the past, I was guilty of that and, and, and thinking uh, he was, was not a really good person to select. But like, it's all the media controlling your minds, man. I just, I see it all the time, man. It's all bullshit, dude. Uh, he is not your next Hitler. And the media controls things and they're trying to say things that that he's saying and doing. They're manipulating his perspective. And I think that his side does the same thing. When I, do the same thing, man. 
but uh you gotta find a feeling and think for yourself man again well, i got a nice buzz going on here i'm gonna ramble to end here i'm just i'm just proud of you boys man i love y'all and you know i apologize to the neighbors here with the with the boys and uh uh, they're learning disability. Beckham, especially, he he's a brilliant kid, uh, but he does have a learning disability, uh, and I saw him figure it all out here, man. Uh, thank you to Dyfus that that was was here, and uh, I thought we were only gonna get the one matches for Beckham. We got two matches there. They're up there. They're both sleeping in that same bedroom tonight. So thank you, God damn, that is amazing, man. Um, it's just always exhausting to go through life and, and everybody to expect to be on your level and understand it, God, man. And I guess I'm guilty too. I'm on nobody's level, man. I'm only on my kid's level, the best I can. That's the damn thing. This is one of the tastiest cigars ever, but again, they went from about a buck fifty a cigar to about two dollars a cigar. But anyway, we'll puff it later. But uh, just to see them actually go into the room and you see Beckham bouncing and jumping on the bed and everything. And uh, I think if I didn't give him the melatonin, he'd be back down here downstairs. Um, but he's up there. They're both asleep in their bed. Um, he's gonna be up. He's bright and early guy. He's up at like five thirty six in the morning. But uh, and that birdie tonight just chilling me. Um, that's when we do the like video race car stuff. And I I did the the candy thing with him. He he kept he's like, oh, let's get more candy. No man, <laughs> that's it, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's, the candy's done, dude. Uh, but I uh, couldn't be more thankful. Uh, uh, to be a, a father that both of y'all, man. Guys are my everything, dude. You guys are, uh, uh, there was no, uh, TJ as a dad. Uh, until you guys became part of my life, man. You guys are everything to me, man. And again, just all the nonsense that goes on in the world and everything, and that, uh, the media, how they blow everything out of proportion. And uh, just, I, I think it's, it blows my mind every day. I hope there's a way we can resolve all this, and I hope you, you kids come out there and you can resolve it for us. Um, everything is blown out of proportion, whether it's uh, the opposition with Fox and uh, NBC, I don't know, CNBC, whatever, CNN. You all should be ashamed of yourself. Uh, and then when I look at things now, I really think about it, it's like, okay. Elon Musk, when he purchased Twitter, it became X. Uh, I think that's the reason why the election was won. Um, but again, I'm, I'm going to trust a, a man with a brilliant mind and can land rockets into things that we could never even comprehend and all that stuff. And I don't know, just, it just blows my mind. Every day to think about situations that we're going through every day. Uh, there's so many people out there that think like Trump is going to uh, make sure we can never have abortions. No, he's not doing that. He literally stated things like you shouldn't have an abortion. It, there's no laws this, but you shouldn't have an abortion at, like six, seven months into the process of, of being pregnant. That's it. Because the child is alive and well. He'll, no, that's no. And... And then I see all this stuff with family members through it and then they get upset and man, my whole my whole feed <laughs> on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube is just people crying about the situation. Um like I said in the past, I was guilty as I, I I felt that he was not the right selection, but now the more I think about it, like he is the right selection. I did not vote for him or Kamala Harris. Uh but he has all the right uh prospects of ideas and like you need a, a situation where it's like this is where we're going to go this route uh, everything ha has come to a situation where it's like it, it's changed how we feel and think about things man uh i mean y'all call me crazy but like dude 
I mean, the reason why people voted for Trump more than ever is because he was willing to go out there and ramble and talk about whatever the fuck he felt and how he, how he sees things. And then you got to see Kamala Harris where she's scripted with everything. And uh, like, uh, she repeats herself with, like, uh, I grew up from a middle-class home. Okay, cool. Be yourself. Is this edited? Of course, both of them probably went through that with the political stuff. But, like, she's so fake, man. Like, how, how do you vote for somebody that does not just go out there and beat themselves, man? And honestly, I hope in the next presidential election in, what, 2028, and call me, say if I'm wrong or not, but I, I think Trump gets another try doing this because you guys impeached him, whether it was successful or not. I don't know, but like, <laughs> how do you just go out there? How do you expect people to vote for you when you're so fake? You're so fake. You need to be your real self. If you're not real, people cannot trust you. And from my experience of people, when I, when I have little private conversations, they're wrestling and whoever I talk to, they're all just like, she's fake. She, she's not a real person. She doesn't really speak her mind. She's reading from a script. And I was like, yes, that's a problem. And like I said to all you ladies out there, like I, I have nothing against having a, f a female president, but like, she's not the one man, just like Hillary was not the one man. And I still have this confidence of if my choice was to all it's, it's, it's Michelle Obama. She would be the number one selection because she has a backup of, of a husband that ran this country for eight fucking years. They know their shit. And then the Re Republican Party is talking about how, oh, oh the, the Obama needs to disappear. No, no, he's still going to be around, man. Um... I think in 2028, it's going to be uh, probably Michelle Obama and Trump. I think Michelle Obama will win. And honestly, I, I don't care who wins. It, you all need to get together and, and agree on things and make sure that the country's at their best and all that shit, man. It's just crazy. This is the world we live in, dude. The United States of America is not the United States of America. It's the, uh, uh, we are not United America. <laughs> But anyway, um, I'm currently editing stuff here, organizing more footage here. Um, as w, WWE does their thing with uh, the prospects that are going to possibly wrestle for them. But then people are saying it's like, oh, they're, they're, that's a way for them to take them away from AEW and GCW. No, it's not. That's not the thing. But uh uh, the kid here, Marcus Mathers, uh, was talking with his father this past weekend, and uh, just just known the kid forever, man. I saw what happened already. I was honestly surprised he was not one of the number one prospects, and just everything, man. Here it is to uh, when I shoot these videos of my kids, for them to simply learn from their daily lives. But when I do these wrestling videos and I put them in a private video log and all that stuff, and there is one scout that constantly looks at this stuff. And you're welcome, kids. Uh, they have that private link, and they, they look for you guys, man. So I try to capture you guys the best I can. And they look for moments where you guys are respectful. And it's not like, a, oh, I did, like I jumped off a building or anything. They look for consistency, routine. That's what they look for. I mean, I've had conversations with people like you couldn't even imagine that I was ever in contact with. Um, and of course, like, I can name some names, but I was told not to name certain names. But again, I just, I want the best for all y'all. And I will continue to show up and shoot video the best I can of all y'all. And that's, that's it. That's what I do every day. Not well, every day, but when I go to wrestling. <laughs> um, Again, ICW Nolan's Bard had a banger of a show. Uh, Nolan's Bard 65. Hoofoot. Uh, Bobby Beverly, I believe it was. Then we had Atticus Kogar. And uh, Atticus Kogar. And uh, shit, who else was in there? I don't know who was, man. Got too intoxicated. But uh, 
Uh, when I capture these things behind the scenes, I put up on a private link and they get sent off. And uh, when you guys show up to like X Brand Wrestling, I mean the best for all y'all. That's all I want is to, to show who you guys are. Or them flying a drone and their stuff. And some of this, this most of the footage get, gets up on IWTV, but I want to show you guys behind the scenes and, and when you're in the ring. And from my personal experience, I've had emails and say, what do you think about this individual? Or are they a respectful person? Or are they in tune with this? And I mean, I can tell you right now, man, uh, I, I have uh, a, a nice little uh, message system with people here. Uh, I wish I could do better for all y'all, but this is my life. And all I want to do is go focus on my kids. But like, again, I'm focused on all y'all too, man. Again, I'm a little intoxicated, man. I gotta take a leak. Um, let's go love yourselves. Go F yourselves and uh, enjoy the, the moment you live in. And this is it. Consistency consistency is everything, man. So, right, let me go take a leak. Stop judging. Stop loving. Accept all this with us. Be yourself. Me out. Treat the kids the way you want to be treated as a kid. At least as you can. Me out. And, uh, pennies and you're going to see Marcus Mathers uh, in WWE over the next few years and uh, uh, I was conversating with his father uh, I guess I kind of know him pretty well it is it's consistency and it's not doing huge crazy spots it's literally consistency and working in a ring like a baseball player or a football player where you can consistently work. So don't go out there and go, oh, I got to jump off a building. No, it's like, you know what I mean. All right. Take care, everybody. My sons, I love you. And thank you to Dyfus for the betting that was delivered today. And it means the world to me, man. So thank you. All right. Good night. Panties. Thank <laughs> you.